the excitement of adding Victor Weminyama to the NBA draft. The San Antonio Spurs roster this season has not been very good, and that le- leads them to having a season that has been quite disappointing in reality. Now, while Victor Weminyama has shown clear signs of being an incredible player, not only this season, but for the rest of his career, the San Antonio Spurs season, as of right now, is definitely one that they do not want to remember really much in the future. I mean, things are not going well for the squad. They're one of the worst teams out in the NBA. So here I am on NBA 2K24 to hopefully change them for the better. So as you can see by today's video title and what you're looking at on screen right now, I decided to put Magic Johnson on today's San Antonio Spurs roster to save their season. Yes, I'm putting Magic Johnson on the Spurs roster to hopefully bring them back to success and bring them towards winning an NBA championship this year. So if you're all ready, I'm ready. Let's get into video and let's get started. Now, obviously, by putting Victor Weminyama on the same team with Magic Johnson, I mean, these two are going to be forming such an incredible pair together. Obviously, Magic Johnson is one of the best playmakers of all time, and pairing him with 7-4 Victor Weminyama, you know, he's definitely not going to be missing any passes to him, like Jeremy Sohan, for example. <laughs> Anyways, uh, let me guys update you with the rotation first. I'm just going to have whatever pop lines up for us, and this is going to be our rotation for this upcoming year. So we have Magic Johnson, of course, at the 1, Devin Vassell at the 2, Keldon Johnson at the 3, Jeremy Sohan at the 4, and Victor Weminyama, of course, at the 5, North Benjamin and Pop, Trey Jones, Zach Collins, Charles Bassey, Devontae Graham, and Seti Osman. Let's see how well the San Antonio Spurs roster is going to do the season with the addition of Magic Johnson onto the roster. So I'm going to update you guys about the All-Star break and let you guys know how things are going halfway through the season, and hopefully things are going well for the Spurs squad at that point. I'll see you guys then. So we're here at the All-Star break, and of course we ended up with Magic Johnson on the roster. It would be pretty bad if he didn't. No Victor this year, of course, but that's okay because you don't really expect Victor Weminyama to be on the roster. At this current point in the season, we're 34-17, and 17, so we're two games back behind the Denver Nuggets. We are the second seed out in the Western Conference. We're 19-6 and six at home, which is incredible, but we're only 15-11 on the road. Obviously, still, this is so much better than what the Spurs are doing in real life. So that is always a plus. So hopefully the addition of Magic Johnson obviously is making this Spurs roster a whole lot better. Quick update on the Victor stats, 19 points, 10 rebounds a game. That's pretty solid. The three-point shooting is not there. I'll show you guys Magic stats at the end of the year. Anyway, so hopefully we can continue to have the success for the rest of the season. And hopefully Magic Johnson will lead the San Antonio Spurs squad towards uh, the NBA championship at the end of the year. I'll catch up with you guys at the end of the season with all the awards and the stats, and I'll see you guys at that point. And at the end of the season, Luka Doncic is your MVP, averaging 37 points, 10 rebounds, and 10 half assists, a clear triple-double for him. Victor Weminyama, of course, is the Rookie of the Year, averaging 19 points and 10 rebounds a game. Russell Westbrook, Sixth Man of the Year for the Clippers. We got Giannis, Defensive Player of the Year, and Jalen Johnson as your most improved. Magic Johnson is on the All-NBA First Team, so shout out to him. Victor also does make the All-NBA third team, so what a great season uh, for Victor's first of his career. Victor is also on the All-Defensive first team, and Magic Johnson is on the All-Defensive second team, so obviously that is great for both of those players. And at the end of the season here, let me guys show you all the stats first. At the end of the season here, 23 points, 12 rebounds, and 11 assists a game. A triple-double this season for Magic Johnson. Victor Weminyama was next, averaging 19 points and 10 rebounds a game. So he was absolutely incredible. Keldon Johnson averaged 18 points a game this year with Vassell. 16, Trey Jones had 11 points, and Zach Collins also had 11 as well. And at the end of the season here, we went 57-25. and 25. We were the first seed out in the Western Conference. So things obviously went really well for us. While we did have not as good record on the road compared to home because we were 31-9 at, at home, 26-16 and 16 on the road. Obviously, there's no complaints here because the Spurs end up being the first seed out in the Western Conference. So, but the, obviously the challenge is not complete here because we still have to go all the way through the NBA playoffs and hopefully win that Larry O'Brien trophy. Not an easy matchup. We're going to take on the Golden State Warriors here in the first round. So let's see how this goes. they got the exact same squad as in real life. So there's nothing new out there. Also, I can't believe the Thunder were only the seventh seed this season. That makes no sense. But that's a story for another time. In game number one, we do win game one by eight t- points. Magic Johnson with an almost triple-double. In game two, we also win a close game. Not really too high scoring there. Klay Thompson leads the winning scoring. For both teams, 115-101, we win yet again. Curry with 41, but Magic Johnson has 20 rebounds. Oh, my God. And in game number four, we actually end up winning. So it is a clean sweep of the 
Golden State Warriors. We were close in every single game. Look at that stat line, though. 32, 21, 13, 2, and 3. He had six turnovers, but, you know, Magic Johnson will doing scoring for us easily. And in game, uh, not in game, the second round, we're going to take on the Phoenix Suns. In game number one, we do end up winning 146 to 104. A huge blowout. 28 points and 18 assists for Magic Johnson. Clearly, he's having such a great effect on this Spurs roster. In game two, we also win only by three points, 20 points, 18 rebounds, and nine dimes for Magic Johnson. And in game number three, we do lose uh, by 21 points in this one. Beal is too much for us. We can't stop him. In game number three, we also lose. I said game number four, we lose by one point. Victor with 28. Magic Johnson with triple-double. But it's now a 2-2 series. We end up losing here yet again, 102. Oh seven, we only scored to the Suns one twenty three. Magic Johnson with another triple double. But Booker drops forty four. We're now on the brink of elimination here. We still need to win both games to get out of this round. Can we do that? Well, we're about to find out. And in game number six, we actually do win three three series here. We won by three points. Ironically, Trey Jones has twenty three points for us. And here we are, game number seven against the Phoenix Suns. What's going to happen here? And we end up beating the Phoenix Suns. We get by the Suns. But we almost lost the series there, but we get through it. 27 points for Magic Johnson. And we're going to be taking on the Dallas Mavericks here in game, or not in game, in the Western Conference Finals. This is the updated roster here. They got PJ Washington and Daniel Gafford on this team. Let's see how well this team does. In game number one, we do beat the Magic Mavericks, I should say. 29 points, triple double for Magic Johnson. In game number two, we also win. Vassell drops 22 to lead the way and scoring for us, minus Lucas triple double for the magic mavericks i should say and in game number three luca with another triple double it's not enough as we end up winning here and in game number four we end up losing to the mavericks by only one point not enough magic johnson was 39 points that's actually crazy and in game number five we do win yet again victor wemanyama 26 we are one game now away from the NBA Finals, and we end up winning. Magic Johnson is your Western Conference Finals MVP, averaging 24 points, 12 rebounds, and 11 assists a game. That's crazy. So we're going to take it on the Miami Heat here in the NBA Finals. In game number one, we do lose to the Heat by two points. Jimmy Butler leads the way in scoring for them. Playoff Jimmy is in full effect. As you can see in game two here, Jimmy Butler, 24, 5, and 8. We're now down 2-0 to the Miami Heat. In game number three, we do finally get a win. Despite the big efforts here by Butler, Hero, and Terry Rozier, Magic Johnson does lead the way in scoring for us. So it's now a 2-1 series. We do lose another one. Terry Rozier, 28. Jimmy Butler, 27. Things are not looking good for us. We're down 3-1 against the Miami Heat here. We do end up winning another game. It's 3-2 series. Magic Johnson with 30 points, 16 rebounds, and 13 dimes. That's crazy. Hopefully, we can continue the success. We still got to win two more games here. But if we lose one, obviously, we are eliminated. And in game number six, we actually end up winning again. Magic Johnson with 26, 19, and 16, literally carrying the Spurs on his back. It is now game number seven, the NBA Finals. Win or go home. Let's see what happens here. And in game number seven, we end up winning. The Miami Heat have blown a 3-1 lead, meaning that the San Antonio Spurs have won the NBA championship. Magic Johnson is your Finals MVP, averaging 24 points, 13 rebounds, and 13 assists. So if you all enjoyed the video, please share, like, subscribe for your content. It looks like if you did put Magic Johnson on today's San Antonio Spurs roster, they're actually going to come through and win the NBA championship. So if you want to just any other players and put them on teams to save their season, feel free to let me know down in the comment section below. If not, have a great day and I'll see you in the next one.